Well, hello everybody and welcome back to what is, of course, another windy Sunday in Westman. It's, uh, it's amazing. I, I swear, if I had wind, tur wind turbines, that uh, the Sunday would be my most productive day by far. But uh, we're only out here kind of briefly today because I want to take a look at uh, one of the four horseradish plants that we were given to transplant. Oh. I would guess midway through the season and um, I'm gonna leave the other three into the ground because I'm told they'll just go wild and take over everything and that's exactly what I'm looking for in garden plants in this particular patch of our yard this is the neglect corner where I just put those hazelnuts yesterday and uh, where the perennial onions have been growing and things like that and yeah once we dig that up we'll take a boot downstairs to the dungeon I'll show you how things have changed and we will take a look at some of those potato seeds so that'll be fun plus I got a new fern so of course I'm gonna have to play with that so yeah that about covers the that's what this video is going to be about portion of the intro clip so I guess let's get into the dirt I guess before we get down and dirty as it were we'll take a look at the leaf on what I was told was a horseradish so very interesting long sort of strong leaf we have a few things growing in the yard that look very similar but um, tend to be a little more well slimmer so I don't know if it's uh, related, a wild version, or just something completely different. Anyway, I'm going to clean out some of the grasses at the base of this, take the shovel to it, and we'll see if I have anything interesting in there as a horseradish root. In here, clean some of this up. And other things I suppose I should be doing before I start making my videos. You know, perfect example of just how neglected this patch is. So, I don't know if this is a spreader or not. I feel like I should probably be taking a pitchfork to this, but it's my favorite shovel. So, that's where I'm playing. that up oh okay so I definitely would have left some broken root in the ground there and that doesn't really doesn't smell like horseradish this looks like it might be new shoot That doesn't really smell like horseradish either. Almost smells more like um, a dandelion. That's the first slug I've seen in quite a while. Kind of explains the potatoes. All right, well, I'm not seeing much more going on in here so I think I'm not even gonna bother to process this stuff here I don't know I'll show you that closer I think handheld camera stuff well that is not the excitement I was hoping for I don't know like I said we were told this is horseradish hmm is it that part there? No, that's above ground. Horseradish is a root, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong here. I'm going for the roots. I don't really see much going on in there. This is the newish one that I broke. Like I say, it doesn't smell at all like classic horseradish sauce. And I've never really mucked about with fresh roots, so I don't quite know what to expect there. There are three more plantings that are just gonna be kind of left to overwinter and do their thing. And perhaps we will check one of them in the spring and see if it's a spring harvest thing, or we'll just let them go and uh, maybe check them 
before this happens to the leaves, this is probably a sign that it has gone far too long. All right, let's get out of the wind and uh, down into the dungeon. So next up, we've got these potato seeds from letting them sit for far too long. Formed these little tomato looking things and they uh, are somewhat related as plants go. So it's not too much of a surprise. Even after sitting so long, it's uh, still pretty juicy in there. Coffee filter, let's squish this out and see what we've got. Ton of them in there. And it still leaves loads of them in the skin. So as far as making their own seeds, they're certainly very productive. Sadly, I have no idea if these started off on the red potatoes or the white potatoes, but I'm gonna guess the whites, because they all kind of seemed like they were maybe a little overgrown. Spread these out. So if these are like a tomato seed, odds are you'd get a longer save out of doing them in a jar and letting them do the mold thing and all of that. But I'm not really worried about longevity here. I'm gonna plant some of these seeds today. Maybe not these ones here. Probably just squish out another one of these balls here. Um, and then yeah, maybe some of these in the spring, just depending on whether or not anything sprouts from, well, today's tests. So that is kind of interesting, a little messy. I've definitely taken to using coffee filters instead of paper towels for these seed drying things. So much easier just to remove the seeds from this later on. I can't even begin to overstate that. So I guess next I'm going to get some of these squished out into some soil. We'll see if anything even sprouts. So I'm just going to take a little nine cell, the plastic tray underneath it here and We'll see what kind of treasure we can get. Very thick flesh on these. But again, you see how many seeds are in there? That's just loaded. Much like a tomato would be. So, try to scrape a few of these off. Some in there, some in there. Onto the knife, into the dirt. Not the most scientific method of uh, planting you'd ever find, but um, if that's what you came to my channel for, you'd probably be very disappointed with what you found. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, it's my understanding that each one of these seeds, if they sprout, should produce a slightly different type of potato. And that's ultimately how uh, Oh, I may get the name wrong here. Luther Burbank gave us the russet potatoes and what was it Shasta daisies and a few different things. So yeah, I'm gonna sprinkle a little soil over that and that's basically all I'm gonna do to try and plant these fresh potato seeds. You just saw what I did. And um, I will let you guys know if anything sprouts from here. This is potting soil, so it shouldn't be infested with any um, weeds from outside or anything. So here is to hope. All right, and then I guess I better be quick for this because my camera says I've only got four minutes of life left. But I thought I'd show you all my latest bit of treasure. P-T-E-R-I-S, fern. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that, but it's got instructions, so I will actually take the time to read those. I love ferns. Um, yeah, I don't know why, just 
always have. So hopefully I can keep this growing down here. And uh, if you've got any advice for me on growing ferns, by all means, by all means, please feel free to throw that in the comments below. But I am racing the clock here because it is draining much faster than it said it should. So much love, everybody. Thank you for joining me this week. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, and all that new fun social media stuff. And I will see you next time. Take care. Much love. Bye.